Good day dear students. So we're gonna continue with our chapter matrices and systems of linear equations. So this is my third video on this chapter. So my third video will be on my second learning outcome which is perform operation on matrices. So in my previous video I have covered operation of addition and subtraction. In this video I will be covering on product of two matrices okay so now first we look at our lecture notes here so when can we multiply two matrices okay so this is very important so we can only multiply two matrices when the number of columns in a is equal to the number of rows in b so you look at the example here so this is row times column and row times column column notice that the column of matrix a is the same of the row of matrix b now another important thing your answer multiplication of two matrices row of matrix a times column of matrix b which is m multiplied b so you can look at the diagram below here so this is matrix A where the order is M times N and this is matrix B where the order is N times P. So notice that N okay, is the same. The column of your first matrix is the same of your row of the second matrix and the product will be M times P. So to understand better, we try one example. Okay. So, let's say we are trying to multiply matrix B and C. So, before we multiply any two matrices, we have to check the order of the matrix. So, look at matrix B. It has two rows and three columns. So, the order of matrix B is 2 times 3 and the order of matrix C is 3 times 2 because it has 3 rows and 2 columns okay so what is important we must make sure the column of your first matrix is the same of the row of your second matrix if these two is the same that means we can multiply these two matrices Second thing that we must understand, our answer will be a 2 times 2 matrix. Which means when you multiply B and C, your answer will be a 2 times 2 matrix. So it will have 2 rows and 2 columns. Okay. So it's slightly more difficult compared to addition and subtraction. But don't worry, we will go slow so that you can understand. So first you copy down your matrix B. 1, 2, 3, negative 2, 0, 5. So we're going to multiply with matrix C. 2, 1, negative 3, 4, 2, 1. Okay, so as I taught you earlier, the answer of your B times C is going to be a 2 times 2. 2 matrix which means the answer here will have 2 rows and 2 columns. So we look at the first element. Okay, So this is going to be your row 1, row 2 and this is going to be column 1, column 2. So how I know? Because my answer is a 2 times 2 matrix. I will have 2 rows and 2 columns. So if you look at your first element, your first element will be the multiplication of row 1 and column 1. Row 1 is from the first matrix and column 1 is from the second matrix. So, row 1 times column 1 and your answer will be written at the row 1, column 1. Okay, your answer will be written here. Okay, let's see. So, we are going to take 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, so I write here 1 times 2 is 2 
plus 2 times negative 3 is negative 6 plus 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, so that first answer here is going to be 2 minus 6 plus 6. The answer is 2. Okay, next. Who is the element that we're going to write here? It's going to be the product of row 1, column 2. So this is row 1. Row 1 is from matrix 1. And column 2 is going to be from your second matrix. Row 1 times column 2. Okay, so... 1, first element, 1 times 1 is 1. So, 2 times 4 is 8. And 3 times 1 is 3. Okay, 1 plus 8 plus 3, your answer is going to be 12. Okay, so who are we going to write here will be row 2 times column 1. So, this is our row 2. We are going to times with column 1. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. Okay. And 0. Okay. This is going to be row 2 times column 1. 0 times negative 3 is 0. And 5 times 2 is 10. So, negative 4 plus 0 plus 10 is going to give you 6. Okay. So, this is going to be the answer of row 2 times column 2. So, this is row 2 times column 2. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. 0 times 4 is 0. 5 times 1 is 5. So, negative 2 plus 0 plus 5 is going to give you 3. Okay. So, your final answer is going to be for mul B multiply C is going to be 2, 12, 6, 3. Okay. Can you understand, student, how we get this?